to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video, and I'll be live in about an hour. I know you guys don't seem to get the notifications, so there you have it. I want to do a quick video on a rumor that is circulating around Twitter. I've seen it on the internet as well. It was pointed out to me by Ben, uh, one of my best subscribers, and some of my subscribers have told, about, uh, told me about it when it first came out yesterday, uh, but decided to do some research and do a quick video on this. Evan Ingram has been a polarizing figure for the New York Giants. Seems like the fan base is pretty divided on this topic. Uh, topic. I think Ingram, if healthy, could have a big year this year for the Giants. I think he does fit the system very well. The Air Coriel offense definitely looks to feature the tight end. And him and Daniel Jones had pretty good chemistry when Evan Ingram could stay on the football field. Of course, Evan Ingram's limitations outside of his health. He's not that much of a blocker and sometimes does not possess the best hands in the world. But is certainly a huge mismatch um, in the middle of the field at the tight end position. Maybe the most athletic tight end in the sport. The guy ran like a 4 4 40 uh, you know, during his combine, and you see it time and time again when he's out there on the field and he's 100% healthy, which is why the San Francisco 49ers may very well be interested in him. Now, according to some of the things that I have read, the Niners have actually expressed interest in some other tight ends as well, um, Trey Burton being one of them who was released yesterday or two days ago, whatever it may have been, um, and we're looking um, for a tight end on the free agency market. Even though they have George Kittle, maybe they're looking for a two tight end uh, type offense, similar to what the New England Patriots had back in the day with Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez. Um, that could very well be what they're looking to do. This draft, as several of my subscribers have pointed out, is a very thin tight end draft. So if the Niners are looking to improve at that position, Evan Ingram may make a lot of sense. Now, in terms of what would the price be, we'll get, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. But I wanted to pull up the quotes about the potential trade. This was reported by Vincent Frank, um, who works for Forbes. He is credited. You see the blue check mark there next to his name. And it was later published on NBC Sports, um, along with another uh, a bunch of other websites. Not sure about Burton for the 49ers. We'll say they have sniffed around for a tight end two behind Kittle and have shown interest in an Evan Ingram trade. Whether draft, trade, or free agency, the 49ers will add a tight end. Of course, the 49ers last year had a tight end that they later released, and the New York Giants picked up with Caden Smith, who did a pretty good job with us as well. So they've shown an interest to add some depth uh, behind George Kittle there, and Evan Ingram would instantly become one of their best weapons. I still think they're going to look to uh, draft a wide receiver there at number 13. Now, the problem for a potential trade, we'll get into in a second with the 49ers, has to do with draft capital, um, at least when it comes to this year's draft. But here's the rest of it. The 49ers even reportedly made a run at signing former Atlanta Falcons tight end Austin Hooper, who eventually landed a four-year deal worth $44 million with the Cleveland Browns. So if that is true, and this is being reported by NBC Sports, that means they're looking to make a heavy investment in the second tight end position for this football team. San Francisco may be willing to trade for a tight end too, if the circumstances are right. Vincent Frank of Forbes tweeted out this past week that the Niners have shown interest in potentially trading with the New York Giants with tight end Evan Ingram. And I know that you guys are pretty passionate on both sides of this. There are definitely some Giants fans that want to look to get rid of Evan Ingram at any cost, and there are definitely some Giants fans who don't want to trade him no matter what. I'm kind of in the middle. I think for the right price, it makes a lot of sense to move on from Evan Ingram, but it has to be the right price. I'm not trading him for peanuts. This guy went on the field, is definitely a very talented football player, and adds a lot to this offense. Now, in terms of what the package could potentially be, when you look at the 49ers draft right now, they have the 13th and 31st selection. After that, they don't pick until the fifth round, which is where I don't see it adding up. I don't think Evan Ingram, who's coming off the end of his rookie contract, would command a late first round draft pick. I think we could all agree with that, especially with him being in a walking boot. I also don't think he would command, he would command more rather than a fifth round pick. So I think he's somewhere in the middle. I'm not even thinking about making a trade unless it's for a third round pick or more. What I read in some of the articles were that they speculate if a trade were to go through, it would require a third round pick in next year's draft and a fifth round pick in this year's draft. And if that were the case, maybe the New York Giants would entertain it. Of course, they picked up Toy, uh, Toy Folo in free agency. Caden Smith came on late, and the Giants could always look to add a tight end, maybe with that extra fifth round pick. There's been rumors in the past on both sides of this throughout this entire offseason. We've set, we've read some rumors. I think it was reported by Ryan, and I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. It was a couple of months ago that said that the New York Giants will look to trade Ingram. And then there were rumors pretty recently that said the New York Giants will not. 
Um, now you're starting to hear rumors before the draft. How credible are these? Well, who knows? You know, the, if I'm the Niners, I don't understand the thinking behind this being that Evan Ingram is going to be a free agent in a year anyway. But the fact that they were willing, according to that, uh, sp to spend $11 million on Austin Hooper or close to it, everybody knew he was going to be paid pretty handsomely, being that he was the um, most attractive tight end on the free agency market, would lead me to believe that maybe they would have interest in retaining Evan Ingram on a long-term deal. The Giants, well, I've said time and time again, I don't know if he's in the long-term plans. And if he is, great. Keep him. Sign him to the rookie extension. But if he's not, it's better to get something for him before you don't get anything. Now, if you were to hit free agency, you would get a comp pick. So, for me, for this to even make sense, you would have to get more um, in return than you would for a comp pick. What you would get, maybe a third or a fourth round pick at the back end of each round if you were to be comped and sign on with another team. Do I think the Giants, if they kept him, would sign him on the rookie extension? Absolutely. It only makes financial sense. And if the Niners were to trade for him at the draft, they wouldn't have that option. If they were to wait, they would get um, the the, uh, the Giants would you know use the rookie contract, and then the Niners would have him under you know ro a rookie contract for one additional year. So the Niners may be thinking about that. Um, in terms of this year's draft, I don't see it making a big impact because there's no way unless the Giants were to involve another pick that they would get the 31st selection from the Niners. Now maybe if you included the 99th pick in the deal, maybe you could get creative and figure out something that way. Um, I do think the Niners are going to look to be trading down out of that 31st pick. I will say that, being that they do not pick until the fifth round. But according to some sources, at least, the San Francisco 49ers at least have some kind of interest in Evan Ingram. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.